Hello there, welcome back to Prime Morning. My name is MFA Akusia Adetin. It's a Thursday. We've got Social Watch. Now, the Social Watch is going to be quite different. It's made specially for you out there. Here's a special announcement for you. We're going to be putting a telephone number out there for you. And that uh, be the watch guard in your community, your district, I mean, your constituency. Anything you find that needs attention, please send a video or a photo to us. And if you do, give us a little brief about it whether it's a deplorable state in your community some electrical uh, wiring that's not looking good or needs attention water situation whatever you think we should put on television and draw any stakeholder any person that is supposed to be fixing it attention we will do now today we're throwing our social watch lenses to the agape area it's around ablikuma and it's under the sotom anya constituency so the road there is quite deplorable. We had a good citizen sending us a short video of how the road is looking. We'll show you to so take a watch. Yes, look, look at the main road. This is Agape Main Road, though. the high street, Agape High Street, Main Road now. And I've been it, River Oyu. <laughs> Seriously. And we have an that happened some we days ago it looks totally totally flooded and i'm wondering so people commute to work and school via this road what's the worry most is if children would have to go you know uh if they have to go to school and the road is looking like this i really wonder how they're going to cross over it looks like a river that's sitting in the middle of the community however we've got the person who sent out this video his name is pastor tony we'll be talking to him hello good morning pastor tony Hi, good morning, MFA. How are you? Very well, thanks for asking. How are you doing as well? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for showing us this video and sending it to us. So tell me, how long have you been living in that community? Um, I've lived in Agape for close to 10 years now. Wow. And how long has the road been like this? Um, I came to meet it. It's been like this for a longer time i mean since i came to the community there has never been any work done on it wow describe to me i'm sure that the, the picture or the video is showing very little information about the situation so describe to me how the road looks now um the road stretching from the main junction called pentecost junction is rocky you know naturally mm. the, the area is a rocky area Okay. And so you have the stones, you know, popping up the roads and a lot of gullies because there are no drainage systems in the community. Okay. The rains, when it comes, uh, the flood washes away the topsoil, so you have a lot of gullies on the road, making it very uh, motorable and uncomfortable driving on. And um, uh, where the, 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 the flood gathers, mm. there are, um, I believe it is not a smaller drain that will deal with the situation, but we need really powerful engineers mm. to come and look at it again and solve the problem because it is the potholes, the gullies, they don't make living in the community uh, nice. I can I can only imagine. And so, if if there's a downpour, tell me how bad the situation can really get. Anytime there's a downpour, anytime there is a downpour, be sure that um, the area will be flooded, and cars that the public transport, taxis, trotters may have to be on either side of the road. Those coming from Agape down will have to probably alight somewhere and walk across to pick a taxi on the other side of the road. And people will have to use Malam Bawe stretch because Agape connects um, Malam Bawe. There's a link and mm. it connects us to also Pokwasi. So if you cannot go through the flood or the water, you use the Malam Bawe uh, side of town. That must be some long journey if you have to catch up work at 8 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's worrying. It's, it's very, very worrying. And we are just appealing to the appropriate um, 
um, authorities to come and look at it again. Okay. Because... Yes, I'm Well, so Pastor Tony, describe to me any time that's not done poor, uh, poor or there isn't uh, floods, how is the situation like? Say that again, please. If there isn't floods or any downpour, how is the situation like the road? If there isn't a flood, we are faced with um, dust. dust. We are faced with the gullies. They are there. I mean, they are, they've been with us since. Uh, in the absence of flood, the road is not any better. It is bad. But when it rains, then our trouble doubles. Okay. So just so that we're on the same page, this Agape area, particularly around Ablikuma, is under the Anya Sotum constituency, isn't it? Certainly it is. Okay. And so your MP would be Dr. Dixon Amwaku Kisi? Yes, he is. Okay. And he's a medical doctor and a philanthropist as well. Yeah. Okay, so we've been following up with him, and he says that monies have been dispersed to contractors. And so we'll be doing some follow up stories to be sure if they're going to be constructing some drainages for you and also look at the road for you, okay? All right. Or this will be a promise you must have heard before. Um, that on the 21st of September, I think um, there was a meeting with him, and he gave up to 21 days. But if I understand him correctly, I, he is making an intervention, you know, a temporal solution. But that is not what Agape people need, much as we acknowledge that he wants to do something about it. Mm. Um, often we have heard that the road has been done on paper, you know. And where and on which paper, because roads are not done on paper, True. So he's coming to help mitigate temporarily the problem. Okay. But we are looking at the a lasting solution. We are looking at having the road constructed, you know, not just bringing in some gravel to fill up, but because eventually if the roads are not done, if, if, if they are just done temporarily mm. we will have the rains come and it will wash everything away again i totally so, agree i totally sorry? agree i totally agree pastor tony yeah so before i let you go please reiterate exactly where this is happening and exactly what the people in that community would require authorities to do i i believe that as a resident of the agape community mm. um I mean, everybody in this community wants the road fixed and fixed well. I, I, I believe that um, the, 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 the authorities in charge of this um, particular constituency or municipality should come and examine and make sure that, ensure that the roads are fixed for us. Because when the roads are fixed, it brings other developments to the community, and that's what we are asking for. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Tony. Have a good one today. We promise we do follow up uh, stories. We'll follow up with the MP as well to understand exactly what he's doing to help the road situation in the Agape Ablekuma, which can be found at the Sotum Anya constituency. It's been a constituency that was uh, uh, the Honorable Shelley Ayokoboche used to uh, be the MP over there for so many years. And so it's quite worrying to see such a situation. Hopefully, uh, Dr. Dixon tobacco would help uh, solve that situation there. Thank you so much, Pastor Tony. However, remember that we uh, brought you a story from Manguase. We also brought you a story about the Legion village where we have street children uh, living. Unfortunately, these children have been asked to evacuate. In fact, they have all moved out. We do not know exactly where they all have moved to, but we've got a video of how the Legion village is looking now. Let's look at it. children but people from diverse walks of life some residents of legion village from our observation have some sort of decent trade or job this raises another issue and concern for housing accommodation and renting challenges in accra this situation has developed many slums and squatters within the capital <laughs> We heard the current MP for Ayawaso West Wogon.
then they sleep there. Okay. I will find time, come again. I uh, remember that when we brought you that store, we had loads of children living there. I remember so well our star boy, Blessing, used to be in that area. He gave us vivid, uh, he told us a story, his story, and how lots of these children migrate to come and live there. But today, you'll not even find a single person over there, and that's how the place is looking. We are told that the place belongs to one Edward Osebwachi. Juan Edward Asebwachi, we promised to uh, check on that to be sure that if it's owned by him. But what our major concern will be where these children might have migrated to. Are they back on the streets? Have they gone to form a new Legion village another, at another place? And is this a cause to worry? That is how it looks. Not that it's filled with persons, but it's actually uh, engulfed with a lot of filth over there. And so if... Um, one Mr. Edward Osebwache is watching us. Please, you might want to talk to us. But also, please, here is the number that you can send any video or picture to if you uh, know something that's happening in your community. But in the meantime, what you have seen so far, we've shown you how the Agape Ablekuma Road is looking. Uh, you can send us a message on 0551575757 or you can call us on 0302211694. That one, you're going to be talking to me now. But please, you can have this message, this number, and then you can keep it. And then you can send us anything that's happening in your community. But you know what? Even if it's good news, you can share with us so that we also share the good news with people who watch us and get to know that it's not always the bad news that we carry, except that we want uh, results. Prime only wants results. And so send to us your videos, your pictures, 551 Five seven five seven five seven. You can also share your comments now. Remember also that in the eastern region, some months ago, we brought you the story uh, at Mangwasi. We had the assemblyman in the studio, and then uh, he threw a lot of light on what's been happening. Now let's go back to see what's happened. What happened? Let's just take a recap at Mangwasi, and then we'll get to talk to the assemblyman. Hey, if I chime in a man back home, more me baha me etch from bed thirty to forty years. Crony, a crown of face, eight to pompa, and a mukamia, yea, auntie. First name, soon baby, a mukamia, no gwen. I'm with the pipe ahead, a sisu. And take out by gwen, say, I open so cry to me. Manguase, as has been told, was a commercial town, a place where car businesses flourished. We were told that Mangwase is one of Ghana's biggest cocoa hubs. Yeah, formerly Mangwase, what I hear from my father, formerly you brought from a bit China, a bit far. But one area of a friend, companion, a mutton cast, who could check our crack, one by Yikan or Mangwase. And the one of Mangwase market is a big market. My gradual, gradual, and I'm getting a collapse. I'm a collapse. And I ruin soon due to ruin a running fast into boys or Hanum in Jumaya because training bar, which is Sanya Maguma at the end of the day, no, only our social. Until I really train any human to the Samuel, I have boys in Jumabu. And I said, he said, no, I quite. Starving, one door. I want to make up. So it's a quite family area. I ain't a boy with my door. Now it's easy. I want to make a crew no. Quite an echo form. Yeah, quite a number one. Time I train walk around, crew no. Then new or aye kakara. Now time I train, I just buy crew there. Crew no, quite an echo form. Yeah, quite so I say. MP, I will buy it. In Nimse, I'm 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 a duku a be boy. Or call Parliament, or quiet to a barman or quiet. Four years in Biacro and turn an input, I'm a shay. And my community, my bow and emblem to a solid genie. The Saudi Abbey do musician. Because here, Quano and Co. Emma, I this one, a young free, a yaka crown of the Aco market in Puni and Yabia to be the Eddie. The Estate is a bed do musician or summer by. So, I told my two is two is now so, ye who she. And I said, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
So uh, I've got the assembly man for uh, Mango Asi online. Hi, Justice. Good morning. Good morning, Joy Prime. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, we are fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, so we'll start off with the road. Uh, give me a general overview of the situation in Mango Asi. Thank you very much. Um, my greetings to you and your crew and um, the Mango Asi people. And let me say that I'm amazed at the concern and care you have, your station and your network has developed for Mango Asi. God wish you bless you. Thank you. And I know when anything good comes, we shall share the joy together. Thank you. We are still at where you met us, if we have not even gone backwards. Wow. And that is, that is the sadness of the situation. Okay. Uh, let's take it one after the other. Let's start with the road. I remember there was a heap of sand. One of, your, uh, one of the residents described it as bosom. Is it still there? We cleared it ourselves. Why? Oh, okay, it was obstructing traffic anyway. Mm. And the purpose of it was put there to, they were not coming to use it. It even caused one or two accidents and motorbikes have to run into it and other things. So Remind us again, what was the purpose? Come again. Remind us again, what was the sound there for? Um, they brought it purpose to come and fill the bigger portals within the town roads, you know, they, they were brought to come and throw the portholes in the town roads, on the town roads. Okay, so you've cleared it, but the portholes are still there? We cleared it. Oh, yeah, I mean, the problems are still there. As of the road problems, as I've told you, if you've not gone from bad to west, then we could be just be where you met us. Okay, uh, let's move to the market. I remember there was a market that had been dejected. Is it still there? The market structures are there, and then... Um, as for the soft side of the market, it's going to be difficult to blame anybody anyway. Why? But you see, the road being fixed is what we have used to then advertise for people to come to the market. I agree. Because the market women cannot use this road. They can, cannot commute I mean, to the market. Yes. Market yes. 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 Okay. So we are thinking of putting our, all, all our energies together and get the route fixed. Okay. Then we can tell people that we have a market space. I mean, the structures are there. If your camera captured it, we have one of the biggest market spaces in the whole of the Eastern region. Yes, you do. Uh, it's still big, really. So yeah. I remember that there was a demonstration, no road, no vote. Yep. Uh, have you been able to talk to the MP? The MP, after the election, I have not met. But you know, as an assemblyman, I deal more with my MC than the MP. We're coming there. The second one too is that mm. since she will just be doing lobbying and uh, not really be giving funds to do the projects, we're expecting that our MC will also kind of fall on her. But as has been said, since the election, she has not visited our community. Okay. What about the MC? Have you personally, as an assemblyman, spoken to him or met him over the challenges in Mangwasi? I, I, I've, I've sounded like a broken record now. Nobody. Not even the MC mm. alone. Even my colleague assemblyman, they are even getting fed up with me when it comes to my roots. Because there's no day at any assembly meeting that will close that meeting without me mentioning this road. So he has no basis to say he's not aware. He's aware only that he's helpless. He's, that's what I can say. He's helpless? How do you mean? Very, very, very helpless. Helpless in the sense that, um, you see, what the contractors have told me, which I think makes the MC helpless, is that there are no funds for them to do the work. And the MC doesn't, the contract is not a district assembly contract. It's a government of Ghana contract, so you see the funds will not be coming from the assembly. It comes from the central government. It comes from the central government. What the MC could do was maybe to go to the road ministry, talk to the minister, or find a, a godfather figure within government. You know, that's how the policy is done today. If you don't really get a strong person at the top, you don't get any project there because there's no money, and the letter is shared. By looking at faces, that's what I want to say. They look at the faces and give the money to the project.
Okay, um, Justice, so if I understand, the road construction has, it's been given to contractors, except that yep. they're in funds. They're in funds. That, is, that has been the problem for so many years now. Okay, and you'd say how long has this been happening? Especially the road. How long have you had this bad road? Manwasi Adosu Tinkon has been like this for well over years that I can remember. You see, we are just trying to get a road fixed all over, all over, all over. It has never been succeeded. So if you are talking about the bad roads, then we have stayed with it for as long as we can remember. Only that once in a while we get the breeding to make mm. it more trouble. Okay. But the dust, the dusty nature and the frequent portals and the, you see when the rain set in, a dusty road rains all, is always at the mercy of the rains. Then it goes back to it, bust it, when they will come once they want to come and grade it. So when contracts were awarded for bitumen surfacing, mm. we jump for joy. We sang hallelujah. Only for us to wake up and know that it's a, it, it isn't going to happen anytime soon. Okay. I remember the last time you were in the studio, we were quite concerned about the, you know, indisciplined nature of people in Mangwasi. I'm talking about the public toilets. What's the situation about it? The public toilets that we have now, mm. I met it in a state that I couldn't commercialize because, you know, before we take people's money for something, they should see it as that much. Okay. So they are still using it. I have applied for funds to rehabilitate it to a stage that now somebody can sit at it and maybe collect some tools or token. I still not got the funds. So when they go and it's full, they just squat anywhere. And then, okay. and that, is, that, that is how helpless I am after now. Okay. Uh, I, I feel suffocated on your behalf. What's that one thing that is good in Mangwasi? Just one thing that you're excited about in Mangwasi. Huh. That we hope things will be better. That's what excites me. Nothing. Wow. Finally before, yeah. finally, before I let you go, we'll move away and go to the clinic. Yeah. Tell me, what's the situation with the clinic as well? The clinic is, uh, is up and running, though amidst the challenges. You know, the route to the clinic, which has been a very serious problem, cannot be fixed without the main route being fixed. Okay. You understand? Yes. So our prayer was that when this two sides of the road were given to contract. The two contracted planning have come together and just fix that road as part of the work that they were doing. So we are still hoping against hope because almost anything in Mamwasi can succeed if you get this road fixed. Okay. It, it seems to me that the rest are dependent on the fixing of the main roads. Okay. And that's why when I, when, I, when I go anywhere at all, I like to mention the roads. I don't want to even mention anything else. Okay, we're coming along with you because it looks like the road is your top priority. Certainly. Okay, the last time you were in the studio, you wanted to talk about the uh, secondary school. Do you have a secondary school there? We have a secondary school. Tell me, what's the situation with it? Um, I have a senior high school that is just a carbon copy of the community. Neglected and forgotten. The school, that is a boarding school, has no quarters for teachers to stay in school so that they can uh, instill uh, uh, extracurricular discipline. You know when school closes, the borders should not be on their own, they should still be checked. There are no teachers because there are no bungalows. Okay. The school is not fenced. It will surprise you that cattle enter the school to feed. Wow. And, and, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm just telling you the fact. Mm. Cattle Still go to and ship enters our school to to grade. There are no walls. Okay, okay, because there aren't walls. Yes, there are no school. We don't have a standard um, assembly hall as it should be. We don't have a standard dining hall as it should be. Aside, a man was say has a problem. Aside this with structures, I have serious problem with management too. Okay, and, we'll and, come to that. and a Ghana Education Service, the one in that district, is well aware about this? My 
my district director cannot and will never say she's not aware. Okay, uh, I hear the worry in your, in your voice. Tell me why you think that we need to pay attention to Mangwasi. Why? Maybe a little history. Um, let me start with the basics. We are part of Ghana, though. First we of are all. Mm. We are starting to receive the cake. That's one. Two, those who have heard of Mangwasi know that. This is not how we should have ended. Man wants to say that the colonial days was one of the most popular spots on, on the map of Ghana. It should have not have ended like this. It has been to do, due to neglect over the years. Okay. The senior high school, for instance, is not for Man Wasi's children alone. People from all over the country school here. And the future of those children are also really important. The road is causing a lot of problems to the people. So when you put all these two together, Manwasi should be one of the most important places for developers and for politicians and for the leaders of this country to turn their attention to. If you have the ears of the road minister, maybe I'll beg you to whisper some things in his ears for me. Okay, so you don't have to whisper. You don't, you don't, you don't, so you don't have to whisper. You're on live television. Make your appeal. I make my appeal on behalf of the Mangwasi people to those who are in power, to those who have the financial model, to those who have sympathies and empathies for people that have been neglected like Mangwasi people to come to our aid. We need our roads fixed, and I believe if these roads get fixed, all other things will fall in place. My sister, I have heard of serious Mangwasi people who have made it in life. There are reasons for coming back to, for not coming back to Mangwasi, I cannot say. But I'm on my knees and I'm begging them. Even if they have cancelled their names out of the community, the people here still are looking up to them. We beg them. We beg the government. We beg any organization at all that has what it takes to improve our uh, conditions of life here, to come to our aid. Let me proceed to also appeal to the Mangwasi people themselves. Mm. I've always been saying that the little one that we can do, we shouldn't wait for anybody to come and do for us. When we call communal labor, I expect the young men and women to come out massively and help us. I'm appealing them, I'm appealing to them to exercise good sanitation and hygienic conditions around themselves. Mm. Yes, people have to come to do the aid. But we have the moral right to call them when we have done our bit. I agree. Thank you very much. This Thank morning. you. And Thank once you. again, I am amazed. And I, sometimes you, I ask what a joy from got to benefit. But I think you just you just like my wife, and we are proud of your little contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Multimedia is committed to achieving results. And uh, as a media house, we just want everything right in our communities. We come from the communities before we sit on the televisions. And so it's only right that we throw lights on the challenges. Anyway, so that's it. We have, uh, some months ago as well, we went to Choco. We brought you the story of how Choco is. For some reason, when you hear Choco, you can't help but associate the name to filth, death, bad. It's been one one major community that if looked at, uh, at least we could make Accra better. I know that the Accra, Accra uh, member of parliament is trying to make Accra better, but Choco is still is still as it is. The filth is swallowing nearly every person in Choco. We are unable to reach the assemblyman there, but let's go back to see what happened, what we showed you, and see if it's changed. It hasn't. Zero five five one five seven five seven five seven zero five five one five seven five seven five seven all over the country from uh, Wale Wale down to Oti region, wherever you are, no matter how small your community is, share with us videos or pictures 
of anything that needs attention in your community well if it's something also that maybe your member of parliament or your mc have also done and it looks good and you want us to applaud you can as well also uh, share with us but share with us how the situation in your area could be the road could be water it could be electricity it could be school and let's see how we can at least raise these concerns on television and draw the necessary stakeholders attention and so this is how choco is looking i'm not an engineer uh, I don't know, but if you ask me, I really don't know how we can solve this. But I believe that one step at a time, we can look at the situation and at least reduce the amount of filth that is taking over uh, Choco. If we are able to get through to the assemblyman, we'll get him and then we'll get a lot of information and update you on what's happening. I remember so well there was a young man who used to wake up in the community and help direct people where they can throw their filth and... Uh, we applauded that young man, but it looks like it's not something that a person can keep up if we do not give the necessary help to these persons who are helping us in the communities. Today, Social Watch was brought to you specially. Uh, we, we want to touch base with you wherever you are, whoever. You can send us everything that you want us to talk about on television. My name is MFA Akosia Adeti, and this is a special one for you. This has been Social Watch. <laughs> Before we even wrap up on the show, we just might bring an exclusive interview. Before that, I've seen that a few of you have started sending your messages and even videos and pictures. I may, I just will take a few of the messages and then we'll put the videos together and show. We will show the video if we uh, we talk to appropriate authorities and then we're not getting any response. But here's a message from Nanekia from Achim Setre in the Eastern region. Uh, she says that there is a secondary school in our community, but no offense. No teacher to is staying on campus with the expectation of the, uh, with the exception of the headmaster. My worry is that many of the students, especially the girls, run to town. You would see these students all over town. I stay closer to the school to see them when they are going out of town. Teenage pregnancy is high there. When I ask these students what they do in town, they give no uh, reasonable answers. I came here to work, but the attitude of these students very, very bad. I had the chance to talk to the senior house mistress who stays outside the campus about what the school is doing, about these issues. Um, she said the DCE and MP are aware of the problem, but it's like they have turned their back on the school. She further stated that there are no beds and chairs for both students and teachers. Okay, so I understand that we have so much challenges as a country, uh, but for schools, I'm glad that the DC and the MP also are aware. That's from Nanekia in Achim Setra. We also have... Um, so, oh, Ghana, uh, I'm not sure if this person has added their name, but says, oh, Ghana, we have roads, school buildings in our country. Uh, but why, do, uh, message not too clear, but um, school buildings in our country, but they want us to just, uh, okay, Ignatius, your message is not too clear. You just might want to send the uh, message again. I've got a video here, and it says that, good morning, please. This is a mound for gravel pit on the... Adenta Dodua Road. I've seen the video. We will call you a little later to ask more information. We'll find the assemblyman and the MC and then ask questions and then we can pick up. You can also call us on 0302 or 94. In the meantime, it's a first thing. And so you can get a big combo of cheesy pizza for only 49 CDs. And then you can also get a small one with fries, chicken, and one cola drink at all branches. So you can call them on 02641 33397. 02641 And also, I'll bring you where you can get a car on installments. But before we go there, let's talk to Prosper. Hi, Prosper. Good morning. Wonderful. Good morning. Please, um, my problem is network, MTN network. Okay, where? How much you cover is in Vota region, Ketu South. Ketu South? Yes. Okay, and so I, how bad I is it? Mama, it's a good machine. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Good morning. That's my mother. <laughs> Good morning, Auntie Jifagobashi. So we have a little challenge here. So MTN Network, but all the other networks are okay? Yes. I like what happened. It's quite okay. It's quite okay. So uh, mention yes. the town again. Amadikofe. Amadikofe, Ketu South. Yes. Ketu South. It's under Bogulu Electoral Area. Bogulu Electoral Area. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Fred. Yeah, I'm okay. sure that MTN is watching and just maybe they might want to pay attention to that situation. There's so many communities around the water region that really struggle uh, for networking. So they might want to pay attention to that. In the meantime, you can also get a car from Edu Motors. Are you worried how to purchase a car because you have low budget? Uh, then look no further because the opportunity is here. Rush to Edu Motors Company Limited. We give you favorable payment terms. We provide all types of cars for commercial and private use. And we also have terms for work and pay clients. You might want to call them on 057977. 7763 or 0579 Motors, your light has come. You can locate them at the Kaswa Barrier Junction near Liberia Camp. We also have Jifa calling us from Bema Camp. Hi Jifa, good morning. Good morning. Hi, please go on. Um, I'm calling to, re to relate to the issue about the ACHS in Achim Petra. Okay. okay, please go on. Yeah. Um, I completed that school. Okay, how long ago? Um, one year. Okay. And we were facing a lot of challenges, okay. especially concerning with the no walls around the school because we get attacked. From ritual and from arm robbers. Really? Yeah. Okay. At night, when it happens like that, then press is being closed. We don't study anymore. Wow. And this ritual is sometimes, I don't know when we are about to take our bath, they come then, everybody has to run. So it's either you wake up very early to bath or you go to class without eating. And you have seen a ritualist in your school before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were even having church services and then some came around and automatically we had to close this our church service. And our school is an Adventist school, so we can't like have night service and then daytime too. Interesting. Thank you yeah. for drawing our attention. We'll do a follow up on that story, okay? Well, okay. that's that's cool. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got a mess. So you shouldn't call the WhatsApp number. Kindly call the 0302-211-693 and send your messages to the WhatsApp number. Good morning. My name is Irabna speaking from Botteman. Uh, I'm unable to read Irabna's message because calls. Okay. From uh, Botteman State Flood Community 18. Please, the present issue in my community is the rate at which we suffer water crisis. And uh, the motto is, okay. Please call the 0302-211-693, okay? And also, um, and also the motto is also not convenient for crossing. I'm not too sure what you mean. Did you mean a motorway is there, a motorway there? Uh, we are asking authorities to come to our aid. So your challenge about the water is quite clear, except that we are not clear on uh, the crossing of the road. So we also have the uh, drainage system in Malam is very bad. Assemblyman doesn't care, even if there's flood. Okay, we'll follow up on that. We've got a caller. Hi, good morning. Yeah. Hi, Frank. Hello. Good morning, Frank. Yeah. Thank you for calling us. Please go on. Are you hearing me? Yes, very clear. Yeah. Um, we have problems in our street, assume, yeah. We have problems on our street. Where exactly? Um, I'm uh, a room. Yes, I run a room. In fact, the routine is, is, is destroying our, our roads and some of our buildings. Okay, and which constituency is that uh, community? Um, so please, uh, we are appealing to the 
uh, the district assemblies and the assembly men so that they can come to our aid. Okay, I wanted to find out exactly which constituency that community is. Um, Kwabi uh, Bim district, East New Reading. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I've got another caller. Hello. Regina. Hi, Regina. <coughs> Good morning, Regina. This is Georgina. Georgina. Okay. Yay. Good morning. <laughs> Do you How hear me? Been? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Please go mm -hmm. on. Please, I'm calling from Agrisu. Agrisu district. Where? Amante South district. Okay. Agrisu. Okay. Okay. In fact, the nature of our road is very, very, very bad. We have a hospital there, St. Martin's Catholic Hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm a worker, the midwife over there. Okay. And that's the only referring center in the district. Pregnant women, uh, referral cases, they all come there. And the kind of road, the nature of the road that is like before coming. If they put you in it and you are pregnant woman, you deliver on the baby before coming. Whoa. It's true, and it's recently, uh, just three days ago, it rained. There is there was no car that was able to cross to the, 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 the facility. So imagine an ambulance that was that day. So please kindly speak on our behalf for us. We want the appropriate authorities to kindly fix it for us, please. This is the well road noted. Is very, very, very bad. This is well noted, uh, especially because that's the only referral hospital in that community. Thank you. Let's go to Agbozume. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Roland. Thank you for calling us. Hi, thank you, Renefa. I'm currently speaking from Ambojime. Okay. But my problem is that uh, my feet are sick me in the central region. Uh, sorry, central town. Okay. And that is what I region, central town. Okay. My feet are sick me. Okay. Yes. Okay. In fact, there's a clinic there. And this clinic, I wonder how they should position that clinic there. Okay. Yes, because in fact, the Lusa says they intentionally built the clinic in the river. The place is, is, is in fact a uh, water log. Right now that we are speaking, to, uh, this is the rainy season. If you get there right now, you see that the clinic is being in a river. In a river? Yes. Is it that it, it was built on a river or it's just Not that some water river. has fallen? I don't know how I should describe it to you. I don't know why they should intentionally position that clinic really there. Okay. Yes, because the place is, is a water log, more or less a dam. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I can understand your worry. Is that the only <laughs> clinic in that community? And that is, for that community, that is the only clinic. There's another clinic at the Mafia Mansi, okay? Mm -hmm. But that clinic, in fact, is operational anyway. Okay. But during rainy season like this, okay. you can't even accept the clinic. So okay. always I'm thinking that I should make a video sent to any of the media houses. Today I'm lucky that you will have a switch hours. By the time I'll get back to Mafia Mansi, I'll make sure I do video on the situation I sent to you. I'll be glad. I'll be glad. And, uh, this is uh, Honorable uh, Mo Sonia. Okay. And okay. Uh, MP is uh, Honorable Alexander Hotoje. Hotoje. Okay. Honorable yes, yes. Alexander Hotoje. Right. Yes, uh, yes. I know him. I'll try and reach him personally. But um, please don't forget to send uh, the video to 0551 Okay. I, I have Jay joining me. Hi, Jay. Yes. Well, I mean, for hearing these stories, it's heartbreaking, I must say. I mean, Clinic just. In um, and clearly, well, let's go to, before we even jump into more discussions, let's go to Yao. Yao is on the line as well. Yao, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, please talk to us. Uh, please. I'm calling from uh, Asantea Chimigasso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a little problem here. Share with us. And uh, the problem is uh, about our road. And the town road before the election, uh, the MC came and tried, he was trying to consult the road. But unfortunately, the road network is very bad. Especially in the old, in the, in, the, in the area where there is a, 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 a new, a, an old town, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. the road, they came and 
started building it and now the, the house has become a storage building whereby the old ladies cannot walk mm. around that area mm. and if i should give you the video i will try get i will try and get get you some of the videos but the yes. videos are very bad mm. wow. the road are very bad the, our mc is called uh, alexandra yeah from Paul. and then the mp also is called uh, uh lawyer Okay. My brother, before God and man, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to make politics here, but the road network is very, very bad. Even from Jasu to Abrim, the last time uh, Chamaun to meet told us that uh, the road has been completed. On paper, they call it that it's been, it's been completed. But if I should give you the road, uh, exactly. the video from the junction where I'm talking about from okay. Jasu to Asantea to Ubugu, Mm -hmm. That is where I'm talking to you right now. From Asantea to Mubogu, uh, the road network is very, very bad. Mm. Well, um, if you have our WhatsApp number, you can, if you get a chance, please do all to send these videos in to us. We'll be very glad um, uh, to also talk and enlighten you know, the people who are in charge about this uh, and uh, so they can act on immediately. But thank you very much yeah, for calling us as well. Um, You're welcome. Wow. Okay. So, Jay, I'm, you can, I'm yeah. flooded with lots of messages and videos. Let me take this one from Natasha Longdon from Takwadi. Please, there's a town called Isiam in the western region, Ketan Isikado. Uh, uh, so... Our road is very bad, and MTN Network 2 is very, very bad here. Thank you for drawing our attention. If you can, you can show us the part of the road that's very bad via video. We've got Selena on the line. Hi, Selena. Good morning. Good morning, Selena. How are you? I'm very good. Thank okay. You. Please go on. I'm calling from Maston Kwanta. Okay. In the Amantia West District. Okay. And our roads are very, very bad. In Amanta West District, the roads are very, very bad. Has it always been like that? Posted here. Sorry? Has the road always been like that? Well, since I came here, mm. I think the Manso Township, every single road is so bad that the last time I, I fell sick and I had to even travel because at Manson Quanta we don't have a hospital here. We only have a, a clinic. So I had to go to Agoye Sun Hospital. Wow. And by the time I got there, my body was eating. I if I have to travel from Manson Quanta to Kumasi, I'll have to go and buy some ointment oh. to apply on my body. The roads are so bad that I can't even describe it. Wow. And sometimes traveling to and fro Amasia West, like the risk alone, the risk involved is, is so, I, I can't um, describe it. Oh my God. I'm coming yeah. along with you with the worry. Thank you for drawing yeah. our attention to it. It looks like roads are topping the, the challenges that people are telling us. So this, mm -hmm. this school, this is the third time this school is showing up. Achim Setra Senior High School. This is the third time. So uh, please do not call the WhatsApp number. Uh, so uh, the issue at Achim Setra Senior High School is very, very serious. Kindly come to our aid. I completed that school two years ago and we used to sleep on the floor and on the veranda when we were there there's no chair for students and also bed so this is the third person who's talking mentioned about the that same, same place school. yes okay now we have even a more deeper reason to look out for that school we've got um hi good morning i'm prudence from Tokpo electra area in the i'm sorry so uh, they keep calling that we don't have good drinking water Port network and very bad at Abuvienu Jokbo. Exactly. Please, MFR, try. Okay. Try and say it to the hearing of our MP and DC. I will send some videos of the road and the drinking water for places like the Volta yes. region. Mm -hmm. Drink sometimes what we drink is very, very terrible. The source of drinking water is mostly shared with cattle. Okay. An animal. Let's also uh, go to Wale Wale and talk to Ahmed. Jay, please take that call. Well, Ahmed, good morning to you. Can you hear us? 
Hello, I'm in Kani here, so I think we lost. We're so there. sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. So those of you promising to send uh, the videos and the pictures, you can because we'd have to save them and see which of them is very, very serious and the ones that need immediate attention, and then we'll pull those out. But Jay, we've got a call up from a gentleman. Well, good morning. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes, Bernard, talk to us. Uh, okay, uh, I'm speaking from Asantima uh, from Shita, uh, precisely. Uh, okay. I want to complain about uh, the rate at which uh, they are stretching off uh, our lives over here. Mm. In fact, it looks like uh, the authorities over here, it looks like uh, I think they are not aware. Have you uh, have you complained? Have you complained to the to ECG by calling their customer service line? Uh, line? Not yet, not yet. Well, I, I think that will be a good start to check in that because um, in recent times the customer service line has been very responsive to uh, to calls. I think you should start off with, with, with that as well. But you were saying, are there any other aside from the rampant um, you know power fluctuations, uh, or is that the predominant uh, problem you are facing in your community? Yeah, for, for me, because uh, I'm a barber over here, and then okay. that is uh, my worry uh, mm -hmm. over here. That is why uh, I was trying to. Okay, awesome. That's good. I think the customer service number would be 100 or so. Um, electricity? Or is it electricity? Well, we can check. We'll check and confirm, and then we'll put that through for you. Okay, so please keep watching and uh, start off by reporting this issue to the customer service number, and I bet you that you'll get good response on that one. Okay? Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. So we'll try and get the number for you, but Jay, you've got a message here. Good morning, Jay. The road network from Akuse Junction to Akuse Town is very, very deplorable. It's true. I know that road. Mm. It's very, very terrible. I've been in that locality for 10 years, and um, uh, nothing has been done here on this road. This is by Meshach. Meshach, I've seen your message, and I can't care, really. Um, so the amazing thing... Good morning, please. I am Safa call from Sambrebo in the Western region. I hope I got the, uh, the name right. I'm Memphis West to be precise. Please, our road is very, very bad. The amazing thing is that we transport cocoa, timber, and other natural resources from this place to big cities. This is definitely a reason to worry about. So if I look at all the, uh, the, the messages and the pictures that are coming in, Jay, it looks mm -hmm. like road. Road. Topping the road, world. topping the. There was a picture of a road that looks very dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, except that the messages are so much that we are unable to. I'm unable to find that one particularly. So, oh, hello Ghana, <laughs> hello Joy Prime. Good morning. <laughs> Bando Volta Road is not good. <laughs> the Eastern Corridor Road. Mm -hmm. My goodness, mm -hmm. we've been talking about it for money yes we can talk about it forever at some point you see that they've started the work on it and yet it will not get anywhere and then it will stop so please and um, so i'm seeing somebody reporting their mp um we promise that if we are unable to bring you all the messages and the videos we will look at the uh video the pictures and everything and we'll save them we understand that there's the scarcity of resources so we'd have to prioritize we look at the ones that need immediate attention and then we'll show them and draw, we'll draw the attention of the appropriate Definitely. authorities yeah well all well, fantastic uh well your problems duly heard here uh do to share like she said the number via was uh whatsapp number your issues via whatsapp number will definitely do uh, our best to also assist. Anyway, so today being a Thursday, guess what? In fact, Cheesy Pizza has got amazing deals for you every single day, Monday to Sunday. But how about you check out Thursday and see what they have for you by visiting any of their branches uh, located. If you are in Accra, you definitely find Cheesy Pizza as well. MFR? Okay, yeah. I mean, I wanted to give them the good news, but thank you so much. Thank you. So the customer care number has been given. I'd like to, so yeah, 0302 six one one six one one zero three zero two six one one six one one this is for the gentleman the oh, baba that right called. there i have, to yes. actually have it here yeah, yeah. The, the the gentleman that called complaining about the power outages in mm -hmm. his community you're a baba and so i really i, I can understand yeah but please call this number and then see where it would get to if it's still bad let us know we'll just so remind them i have a friend good morning pasino fred uh, you have a complaint anyway okay so well i think it's a quick birthday message and dedication here uh, we love you dearly and pray the rest of your days and years on earth be the most fulfilling productive and memorable in jesus name and you live exceptionally good health you are our hero from the children and family and friends to mrs stella 
Kumia Odamni uh, of Kwabenya. Happy birthday. Jennifer? Thank you so much. All of your messages, your pictures, and really, thank you for staying with us here on Prime Morning. My name is MFA Kusia Adeti. Benjamin Akaku was here earlier. Clearly, Jay, you see him? Let's go and drink some malt. True. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. This kind of thing.